Hi, my name's Danny, and I play Clash Royale sometimes. A Royale with cheese and a Royale with Daddy. Hey, how's that? Anyway, so I'm only playing games, uh, making videos about games that I'm enjoying at the moment. And I know what you're thinking, my gosh. Two videos in one day from Danny? What? Well, how can this be? I actually tried recording this one when I was over in Finland, but the audio was terrible. So uh, I got the footage, and I figured you guys might be interested. So I have got a mini account on Clash Royale. And what I'm going to try and do is start a series around Clash Royale that helps people who are just starting out with the, the knowledge that I've got as a mid-range mid Clash Royale player, because I'm never going to make good uh, videos at a high level, because I'm, just, I'm not high level. So I'm, I'm centering this one around the Musketeer as, as the, the range troop, and the Giant as the tank, okay? And we're going to be attacking with my level 2, and I'm going to be attacking level 4s and level 3s, and, and really showing you how you can... I mean, there's nothing better than beating somebody who's stronger than you, and has an advantage over you, uh, and beating them with a low level... Troop. So we're going to drop a witch down. A witch, drop it right at the back. Because what you want is those skeletons to be as far away from the witch as possible. She's very vulnerable when she, when when there's a, a you know a troop close to her. So when she's got you know three or four or six skeletons ahead of her, because you can just keep spawning. It, it's really, you know, she's got a real advantage there. So she's going to be standing there. She's good at get, taking out the uh, little mini dragon, which is what she's going to do, uh, uh, whilst the dragon's been distracted by the by the archers. On the, at the same time, uh, I'm opening up a second attack on the left with the giant. Now, what's really important that I find with Clash Royale is managing your elixir. Remember, you get an elixir at the same rate as they do. Well, at a low level, at least, they get, you get it at the same rate that they do, because you don't have the uh, elixir pump. And so if they're, if they're over committed on one side and you've got some spare elixir, open up another attack, uh, open up another attack on the other side. So we've, we're pretty much low, we've got 188 health on the right hand side uh, tower there, but I've got a, a strong attack coming in with my bomber and my musketeer on, on, on the right. And, and I've got my little goblin hut on the left. Now the goblin hut can take out, tw if, it's, if, it's, if the goblins aren't stopped, it'll take out 20% of the uh, the health of a tower, so it's really handy just to keep it chipping away on the side there at the uh, at the enemy base. So he's got 628 on the right and 809 on the left. So uh, I'm going to focus in on taking that right hand tower. But the witch ahead, uh, unfortunately, she went a little bit too far ahead. But we're starting to wear it down now. The, the giant has got insane uh, damage per second. Uh, well, it does say insane damage considering that he's quite tanky as well. Great idea is to put the, the bomber behind the giant. Yay, we got the tower, excellent. So my bomber is actually distracted by the other giant, but that's cool. I'm putting a goblin hut in front of my base. Now, now it's kind of a defensive play. I need to make sure that I can not be, have one taken out as much as I possibly can. So I'm putting my troops down to distract that giant. It was intentionally there to distract the little baby dragon. Uh, the, all the work that I did chipping away at the, uh, the base on the left there has worked. So we've got two bases down. He's one level ahead of me. This is a win. This is a win. We get well, pretty much uh, 25 seconds left. By the way, if you guys are okay with this this screen format, because I mean it, it's it's a portrait game or, or done on a landscape screen size, so it's a bit tricky. But what I wanted to do was show you the close-up gameplay on the right and actually show you the cards on the left. Um, so anyway, so we've got little baby dragon. There's a lot of hit points on the on the main tower in the middle, but I'm using the musketeer because the musketeer is excellent against the baby dragon. There we go. Two against one. That works for me. Good game. Aha. Excellent. Anyway, so uh, let's go again with little uh, my little one. Oh wow, we can open up the chest. Yeah, what do we got? Some gold, some goblins. Some knights and archers. And I got a giant. Excellent. Giants are so important at the moment. Uh, we've got, uh, I got a little bit a little bit to go to level up the giant though. But they're so important at the moment because they're the tanks. At a low level, I'd say they're probably the most valuable troop that you have. Because it's not only a, an oof, a strong offensive troop, but it's also a strong defensive troop as well for distracting the, defending, uh, distracting the attacker. So, I'm going to hold off a little bit, pop the giant down. What are we going to do? Put a witch down the other side, a witch right at the back there, so the skellies get, uh, uh, you know, skellies are pushed well ahead. I've got some archers to take out his witch. If you can get behind that witch, it's excellent. There we go. So the witch is going to take out the, uh, 
the uh, there we go. So we got the archers coming down on the right hand side, but the defensive clan castle, uh, the defensive clan tower is taking care of those no problem. So we've got a bomber behind the witch now. Look, oh, it's not good. It's not good. Bomber, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, ah, so close. Valkyries. I'm. I don't use Valkyries. So here's the thing. I I think Valkyries are excellent against small ground troops. So uh, goblins, spear goblins, skellies, whatever. But they're terrible against uh, air troops, of course. And I carry archers, uh, well, sorry, arrows instead. The gold guy, you've got to be careful about the gold guy because when he speeds up like that, he does double damage and you've really got to slow him down so that you can get him close to that. Well, if he's going to get there, get close to the tower, use the defensive uh, capability of the tower to take him out. Remember, the middle tower only activates when it's been attacked or if you're down to two towers. So at the moment, all we've got is the the, the, the the tower on the left, which looks like it's about to go down, unfortunately. Okay, so uh, t that tower's gone down. Remember, he's higher level than I am, so his hit points are higher than my hit points. So you've got to go that little bit extra further and with uh, troops that aren't quite so, so highly leveled. But I have a plan. So we've got the giant down in the left-hand side. We've got the range got two range troops behind the giant taking out that little mini pecker there we go you can do it so wrong thing see the thing is that there's a good play for each attack and uh, you know in, in response to each attack that they're doing there's a bad play and putting down small ground troops against something with splash damage is not a, a good play so he's put down his archers. He's trying to rush my uh, my my main tower in the middle. So I've got my uh, goblin hut, which is streaming out so uh, spear goblins as a def defense. The giant is going to tank. We should be able to get that that witch down, which is a uh, obviously it's quite a dangerous uh, uh, troop on uh, on attack. Yeah. Okay. Fireball. Yeah. Good luck with that. Fireball's got half the power on uh, on the main tower. Okay. So he's. Good play there. He's put down his uh, his Valkyrie, but I think we're probably gonna. I think we're probably gonna have this tower actually because I got a lot of power, a lot of damage per second hitting the tower, and the tower's gone down. Excellent, Musketeer. I, I do like the Musketeer. I don't use it in my big accounts or my bigger account though because I, I think there's better alternatives to the to the Musketeer. But right now, right now at this level, it's doing very well. Musketeer is great against big uh, baby dragons as well. A bit of a desperation there, putting my witch. I should have probably put my witch a little bit further towards the middle there. Going to get the tower down. I just want to keep that main tower from being uh, attacked as much as I possibly can because right now we're, we're looking at a draw. We've got 38 seconds to go. He likes those little archers. I, I, I'm not a fan of the archers. You only get two of them and they, they go down within about five seconds. So it's, you know, I, I think, okay, they're cheap for Elixir, but I'm not a mad fan of it. I'm going to put a play down against that giant there because oh, he's going directly for my... Uh, main base. Now, when you're playing this game, it's you can usually tell within the first minute what sort of player he is. Sometimes they they're, they're going to go for both towers. Sometimes he tries to take one down, and he's going to make a big attack on the central tower. And that's exactly what he's doing right now. He's trying to distract me on the right whilst going in on the left. There we go. Not to be. He ran out of time. Woohoo! Okay, so let's go one more time. Let's see what we can find. So uh, there we go. Search for opponents. So we're a level two up against a level three. This isn't too bad. Hey, Joanne, good luck to you. So what have we got? We've got the witch, we've got the bomber, we've got the fireball, and we've got the spear goblins. I love spear goblins. So I, I'd, I'd have a base, I'd have a deck just full of spear goblins, to be honest with you. So I'm going to put a witch down a long way away. I'm going to support him with spear goblins. And I'm going to try and take some of that, uh, some hit points off the. Uh, there we go. Taking some hit points off the, of the goblin hut using the. You can actually, I think, take up to three buildings. You can hit three buildings with the fireball or, of course, the rocket at a later time. Okay, so uh, what have we got? So he's got. It's always a good idea to keep an idea on, on what what troops he has as well. So obviously uh, he has. The, uh, the horde of skeletons, which uh, is good because I've got my, my bomber. Bomber can take down a whole horde all in one go. So the bomber, unfortunately, is quite fragile. So I'm going to think now, what have I got left? So I've got the giants coming in, I've got the witch, I've got the musketeer, and I've got some more spear goblins. I'm just going to let that elixir go up a little bit, get the giant down there. I've got some spear goblins behind the giant. He's popped down his, his, um, his tower. He's not played badly at all, actually. But I'm going to try and tank with my tank my troops to keep their spear goblins alive. I'm going to pop, open up a new attack on the left there with the witch, and hopefully she's going to have enough 
power, to, sorry, enough uh, skeletons going to come out right now. There we go. Distract the defences with the skeletons. Take out maybe 25% of that base if we can. So, I've got my bomber behind my spear goblins, and that's kind of like the range on range attack, if you like. I've got to take care of that little baby dragon there, because he's just hungry for my, my tower. And, uh, gosh, Elixir's a little bit low, so we've got a giant coming up soon. I think we may use the giant. Oh, we may, okay, you know, goblin hut. Pop the goblin hut down there. Keep that flow of, of, um, of troops. I mean, I just love the goblin hut, because it acts defensively, and it can act in attack as well. What are we going to do now? Okay. So, <laughs> okay, I think we're going to have to pop the fireball down there to take care of that small, uh, all those small um, skellies there. I'm starting to get a little bit worried now. I mean, I've got tons of small troops, but that's... There we go. Okay, let's take out this uh, little mini pecker, pop a giant down there if we can, because the giant's going to really slow the mini pecker down. Got, what's he got? 733 on his. I've got 613 on mine on the right. So I've really got to focus now. Pop the witch down on the left to try and just chip away. It's kind of like an insurance policy, if you like. I'm gonna use. I don't have any arrows, so I use the fireball to try and take out the <laughs> his troops. He's down to 182, 120. It's a real possibility now. I can take his tower. Yeah, we got his tower. That's excellent. So what are we looking at? Ten seconds. Okay, now it's just a matter of defending. I've got two goblin huts down on the right. I put the giant down. Let's see if we can, oh, this, this little baby dragon's making one last go for it. There we go. I love this game. I really do. I think it's going to be bigger than Clash in a different way. Anyway, I'd love to know what you think. If you want me to make more videos about this at low level and how to play, let me know. You guys take care. Have a fantastic day. And uh, yeah, well, bye for now. Woohoo! Mini Pekka! Yeah.